following on from the previous video, we got to uh, we got to this stage here where you have uh, one block take away another block. So let's uh, let's switch these two around. So uh, so this thing here becomes becomes this, and then uh, this thing here becomes this. So what you've got here, this block here, remember capital F of n equals this uh, sine to the power of n. So this n minus two means means two less than whatever's here. So this block here is actually this. Okay. So well, anyway, this is your reduction formula. Now, now in this video, I'm going to give you an, an example. So let's uh, let's try and apply this reduction formula to sine to the power six of x. So um, so now, if you want to integrate, so so this is six here. So if you want to integrate, just blindly follow this formula. So it would be minus sine one less. So remember, n is uh, n is six. So it'd be minus sine one less. So now this is five, and then the cos stays the same. Cos stays the same over n over n. Remember this is n here, so that's six, and then uh, and then plus plus, and then uh, one less than n, which will be five. Remember n is uh, n is this six here, and then you've got your n here, which is six, and then it will be it will be sine uh, two less. So remember, n is this two less would be would be four. So that so that would then take you to here. Now we need to find uh, the integral of sine uh, sine to the power of four. So so now apply the formula again. So uh, so this whole thing here, applying the formula again would then give you would then give you this. And uh, so 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 let's apply the formula again here. So just looking at this bit here because this is your 5 over 6, 5 over 6. So just looking at this bit, apply the formula again. So the, applying the formula again would be would be uh, 1 less. So this is n now. n now is uh, is 4. This is your n. So it would be 1 less. So that would be 3. So that would be 3. And then the, the cos stays intact. The cos stays intact. And then the n stays the same. So don't forget n is 4. So you've got a 4 here. And then you've got um, you've got 3 over 4. You've got 3 over 4. And then uh, and then this thing here will be 2 less. It will be 2 less. Well, 2 less will be, will be sine squared. So that will then give you this. Well, this whole block here, this whole block here becomes this. So now tidy this up. Hang on. So now tidy this up. So that will then give, well, this times this will be this. And then this times this. That will then give you this, and then uh, and then now we need to sort this out. We need to sort this out. Hang on, let me think. Yeah. So now we need to sort. Uh, we need to sort this out. So we need to apply the reduction formula again for this block. So you've got five over eight. You've got five over eight, and then applying applying the uh, the formula again. Remember, it's one less than this. So that would be sine to the power of one. So it's it's one less. And then the cos stays intact over, uh, well, applying the formula again here, applying this reduction formula again, that would then take you to, to uh, well, that, that so, so, uh, so hang on, let me think. So, so applying this formula again, so that would then give you this over 2, and then, and then, and then plus, uh, plus a half, and then this thing here gets minus by 2 if you were to apply the formula again. So you've got this thing take away two, so that would be sine to the power of zero x. Well, to the power of zero will always be one. So this thing here is actually one. So when so so when when you come to tidy this up, so now this times this that will then give you this. This times this that will be five times one. That will be five. Eight times two that would be this. And then uh, and then when when you come to evaluate this, well this is one. So when, when you integrate when you integrate one dx, it will be x and then plus your constant. So your final answer is this. Okay?